Good morning everyone. This is Brit. And Brit wants a summer haircut and a nice platinum blonde hair color. And now she will show you what hairstyle she has by turning around. Thank you, Brit. Start with the bleaching the hair and I first bleach the end because there's a rest tone of a window tone she has. Head. It was a red tone. And as always I start with the protection. So I take a color cape. I'm going to make some bleach. First I make the bleach. The bleach is made with 9% sturdy volume. And I just put it on the ends of the hair, not on the outgrow. And she has a small outgrow because it's lighted up before. I lay the bleach parts over each other. And the yellow tones in bleaching are coming up when there is an old tone in it because they are activated by the oxygen that is in the bleach. So that's why the colors, even if it is a red color, come up in a tone and it's difficult to take out of the hair. Open the hair again because the bleach has to have room to, to develop and destroy the rest colors in the hair. And when you lay it on the hair in a flat, it comes to the outgrow. And there I don't want it because first I take off the rest tones. So when I lay it open, the bleach has uh, space to, to work and to do what it has to do, taking out the color. That's why I always put a deep conditioner in it. And I do also the, do that because I want the best result for the hair and the band, best hair to cut afterwards. To let the bleach do what it has to do, lay on, lay on carton wigs. And this stays on for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then I do the outgrow. Now 20 minutes from the point we started, and now I open the plastic foil. Use always protection for your hands because bleaching does damage your skin. Now we want to work out the outgrow. And that also takes about 20 minutes. You can lay the hair open after putting all the bleach on the outgrow. And when I rinse it out, I use a silver toner to get the real platinum blonde. And the silver toner I use is from Goldwell. I can lay the rest of my cotton wigs on top of it, just to give it space. It will be a short hairstyle, a lot of playable movement in it. Give it a lot of space, thinning out at the top. And it will be a summer hairstyle you never forget. So let's play. First thing I'm going to do is to thin out her hair, which is very thick hair. And I make it from the bottom up. This way it's easier to cut her hair and to give her a nice hairstyle. I watch through the hair of the fall of the hair and give it the movement I wanted to give. When you take out hair, you get also volume into the hair. Take out all the hairs that are cut off. Wash through the hair with the thicknesses or wash. And now I start her haircut at the sides. Put away the upper hair. Take our scullers, watch what the shape of the skull is. And the sides will be short. 
En dan doe ik clipper over de kant. Leave the hair on top a little bit long because there I built my hair style on. Connect the back to the front. And use my clipper as a comb. Brit has lovely ears. Make sure the lines are soft and feminine. And I don't want a boy to look on her. I just want to make her a, a nice young girl with a short haircut. How wonderful the skin line is. That with, with a short haircut you can see that. And that I find very important when I make a hairstyle. Going to the center of the skull. Work my way up from the neckline. First take off the weight of the hair. Go up. And it's very important to stay a little bit in volume at the back of her head or the crown area. The nice thing about working with a clipper of con is that it grows back naturally. It don't get in the same length it grows out, so it flows into each other when the hair grows. Lekker hè, zo kort is. Van de zomer. Ja. En dan kun je ook altijd nog een muts opzetten. Hè? Connected to the line I just cut. You can hear the small hairs rolling between the blades of the clipper and then you pull back the knives and give them a new space to, to move away the hairs between it. And the last short part of the sides is the front line. Again leaving some hair at top a little bit longer. So the hair will flow more and the style will be softer. I start from the back up to the front with connecting the lines. And work my way to the front. Creating some natural lines that are falling naturally. And I want to get rid of the last parts of the old colors he had. It was a brown tone. That will be back <laughs> after the summer, I think, or maybe not. I just asked her to be my model. And hopefully it lasts for a lifetime. To the back, do the same. Find the line, leaving the hair like it is, not forcing something. Work my way up.
just play with it how it is. Slice my way up from the neckline to the crown. Just play with my scissors. I love freehand styles. It gives freedom to move, let the hair be what it is. And you see the wonderful shape of her skull. She has a beautiful skull. I'd love to have her as a model. Okay, this side I just work out the ends in a slice technique. Work up to the center of the skull. When I do this with a uh, slice technique, the line will stay soft and get a more texture end result. Now I work from the front to the crown area in a slice technique. Still moving in a freehand style. I lay the hair on the part I just cut and there I make my slice technique. I just play with her hair like I want to because I want to give it structure and that I can only do with slice techniques because she has uh, straight hair and with slice techniques I can make a movement in it. Leaving the front a little bit longer because that makes it more feminine and we can play with it afterwards because we have more length in the front. Vind je het leuk om je dat te zijn? Ja. Ik ben benieuwd hoe je ziet. Cleaning the contour line. What I do is I take from hair gum, I take a shine cream, that I put in the hair. And with this I'm going to dry the hair. It smells lovely. First hairstyle I'm going to make on her is a small hairstyle. So I keep the hair down. And afterwards I'm going to play with it with a clay to make the rough version of it. You can take some shine cream. The first style, a hairstyle I made on her, so I will turn for you to show it. And this is the small version, and you will see the photos also with it. And now we're going to make a 
uh, wild hairstyle. Now I take from here come uh, mount past. And there I'm going to play with to make it a rough hairstyle. Okay, this is the last hairstyle I made on Brit, and she will show it to you and the rest of the world. Uh, thank you for being model, and you see you next time. Thank you, Brit. <laughs>